my next guest is behind the most watched British comedy in the whole world. Ricky Gervais series Afterlife has had over 100 million viewers during lockdown. Now it's back for the third and sadly the final time. The big star of Afterlife is here, the real star, Auntie the Dog, who plays Brandy. But she has brought along Ricky Gervais with, us, uh, with her as well. Lovely to see you both. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm really, good really girl. well, and I was lucky enough to I'm see... I'm the dog, not you. I'm not saying <laughs> you're a good girl. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. She's absolutely beautiful. Good she really girl. is. Good Congratulations, girl, Ricky. Good the, 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 you know, <laughs> the expectation for this is absolutely enormous, and um, you don't disappoint. It is, it is fantastic. I mean, I did laugh, of course. Thank you. And, and, and cried too. Um, but did you feel... You must have felt a bit of pressure with everybody, because everybody loved the first two series so much. It's been off the charts. I mean, even after the first series, um, the, the emotional response, you know, people coming up to me in the street saying it helped them and they, or they, they'd lost their, you know, partner or their mum or whatever, and you realise that everyone's grieving. And I, I played that more into the show. It was never meant to be a, a show about grief, really. That was a jumping-off point for, you know, to watch this man's sort of life play out. But um, more and more I felt a responsibility to treat it with respect because I couldn't just have him snap out of it and go, oh, yeah, it's fine, I'm, I'm over it, because that doesn't happen. Even when I first came up with it, I thought, can people laugh at this? Can people laugh at a, a man who's suicidal because his wife dies of cancer? And the answer is yes, if you treat it well, because people saw themselves in it. And um, people would say to me, oh, I was just like that. I thought I was mad, but I was just like that. And so people like seeing a bit of themselves on telly, even if it's the bad stuff, because um, it, it, it makes them feel normal. And not, not being well is normal. Yeah. You know, not feeling good about something is normal. We all go through it. And as I say, everyone's, everyone's um, grieving. And uh, people, some people come to me and they were sort of therapists and said they used the show in some of their, um, you know, their sessions. And, uh, um, and, and so that that was a that was a you know a big compliment. That's but um, I should say as well, if you haven't seen it, it is very funny as well. We can laugh at <laughs> you know you the do. dark side. I think it's quite uplifting, and um, you know it's about normal life and it's about real life. And uh, and uh, I think comedy at its best says we're all idiots, um, so that's all right. The most uplifting um, parts of the show is the relationship between Tony and his late wife, Lisa, because we see that quite a lot in the videos that they've made together. And they have, I mean, we all aspire to a relationship like that. They just get each other. I want it to be a real relationship. I didn't want it to be like a coffee advert, you know? They're goofy, they're getting drunk, they're mucking around, they're teasing each other. And I also found that the happier the flashback videos were, the sadder it was, yeah. because you suddenly realised what he'd lost. And that helped. And that's why we understood him. That's why we let him say these awful things, because we know he's wounded. And it's all about empathy. We feel sorry for him. We, you know, some of us have been there. Some of us know what it would be like. So, some of us know someone like it. So we forgive him and we have fun um, seeing him get things off his chest, yes. you know. Uh, yes. But we know what he's lost and we know he's a good person deep down. I think we live vicariously through, you know, his candour and we, yes. we all want to say things like that, but we're worried about the consequences. And that's why I made him uh, a guy who didn't care about the consequences um, so he could, say, he could say these awful but funny things, you know. Um, but I think the big theme of it, apart from grief, is hope. And I think um, uh, you can go through anything if you've got hope. If there's light at the end of the tunnel, you can cope. And um, it asks the big question, if you lose everything, is life still worth living? And I think it is. Everybody's got something good inside them. Again, it comes back to that hope, doesn't it? Even the most kind of like strange characters that you've yeah. created, they've still got something about them. You know, they're human yeah. beings, they, they're complex. Well that's, well, that's another theme. I think is about empathy and kindness is that you don't know what other people are going through. You can look at someone and think, oh, I won't bother with them, but they've all got a story. And I think about this a lot recently. I, I, I even think about it um, doing live work now, that if I'm playing to 10,000 people, there's people in there that are going through 
horrendous things. They've spent hard-earned cash, they've come along, they've found a parking space, they've found a babysitter. They might be going through chemotherapy, they might have just lost someone. So I'm very aware of that now, that everyone is struggling and everyone's going through something. So um, I, I, I do like... I do like, uh, you know, entertainment as escapism, but I also like it, th th p people to reflect about it and feel better about themselves after it. And, um, uh, and also, it's got a dog in it. Well, so it's indeed. the best show ever. Well, exactly. <laughs> now, can I say, one of the, the few spoilers, if you like, is you had to put on social media, the dog does not die. Ricky, we couldn't have forgiven you yes. if that had happened. <laughs> there is no way that you would have got away with that one. Uh, honestly, I... No, I, I, people, everyone's saying, Does, is the dog okay? Is the dog okay? And I, I, this is the only spoiler. I've been saying it for a year now, the dog does not die. And now people have been going, he said it too often, the dog dies. I'm going, I <laughs> promise the dog does not die. And you've seen them and you know, you can ask me, this dog, <laughs> this dog does not die. It, 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 this, uh, she's going to live forever. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely beautiful. And I know how much animals mean to you because obviously um, Pickle, your pussycat, she, she just came to stay for foster care and she ended up adopting you, didn't she? We, we lost our, um, our beautiful cat, Ollie, uh, uh, at 16 at the beginning of the pandemic. And um, I wasn't going to get another one until it was all over and I was on tour and all that. And then uh, Jane said, um, oh, we're foster. I went, OK. And this beautiful big lump of love came, £10 uh, uh, tabby, and she hid for the first day, and then she got on my lap and she looked at me and we went, we're keeping it. She's the most beautiful little soul. You, Oh, my oh. God. I just, I just keep looking at her going, oh, you're so beautiful. I do that with, I do that with all animals. I know. People... I can take or leave them, yeah. but animals... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I'm definitely with you on that one. Anybody that I've spoken to that's worked with you on, on Afterlife in particular, but any of, the, any of the series that you've done over the years, they've said it's an amazing experience. You make it so... I don't know, it's just that they love coming into work in the morning. Yeah, and also... The catering's good, and I and I finish early. That's why they like it so much. Is, it, is that is that the they key to it? They, Just keep them fed. <laughs> they don't care about keep them fed and let them go home <laughs> I, early. I pay well. The hours are good. Yes. It is a really happy set. Yes. I've done all the hard work. I've written. I know what I'm doing. So the the, the it is the nicest shoot. Uh, mm. to be on it's just it's just fun every day and we got through the pandemic no one got no one tested positive so uh, um, again very very lucky and the weather was good incredible incredible <laughs> <laughs> it all just came together the stars aligned they really did I just want to say congratulations I cannot I wait to see what you do next and I think you're absolutely right to leave it after three series I mean the temptation would be to do more but I think you've made the right choice Thank you. Good girl. Oh, Good she's girl. gorgeous. Look. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> row, row, row. <laughs> row, 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 row. <laughs> Say hello, Lorraine. 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 <laughs> Lorraine. That's the best, best dog in the Say world. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. <laughs> Say hello, Lorraine. Lorraine. Ricky Gervais, thank you. As if I couldn't love you enough. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And the new Cheers. series of Afterlife Cheers. is on Netflix right now. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.